I'm Muriel Bowser. I'm mayor of Washington, D.C., and we are celebrating Infrastructure Week in the nation's capital. I'm joined today by some very important people who are going to help make this happen. Uh, and I want to acknowledge my friend and the former mayor of the city of New Orleans and now President Biden's advisor on infrastructure, Mayor Mitch Landrew. Give Mitch a big round of applause. I want to thank our uh, EPA Assistant Administrator, Radhika Fox. Uh, and also the members and leaders of my Build Back Better Infrastructure Task Force, uh, led by Secretary Rodney Slater. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, and Jan Adams. I also want to thank uh, our team from D.C. Water, including the Water Drop. Uh, give them a big round of applause because a big part of what we're talking about uh, has to do with water. So we're talking about clean water, safe roads and bridges, connected communities, and sustainable new street lights for Washington, D.C. We're excited about this one, Mitch. Very excited. Uh, on Monday, we were also talking about access to affordable high-speed internet. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk about safe housing and access to food. Uh, and so there is a lot to think about, talk about, and to get done. And we are so proud to have the Biden administration as our partners. We're ready to go here in D.C., our task force is in panel. They have committees and they are meeting. Uh, I've challenged them to get every competitive dollar. Uh, so we'll be ready to go after it. In fact, we're not just ready to go. Uh, we have started. The DC water site, uh, at the pedestrian bridge here in Parkside, and the $24 million project this bridge uh, was completed last fall. The new bridge more directly and safely connects the park side and Mayfair communities to the Minnesota Avenue Metro Station, to six bus transfer stations, and uh, to neighboring Deanwood. Uh, this new bridge is a small glimpse into what we think is possible. The administration has asked us to prioritize reconnecting communities like Parkside and Mayfair right here in Ward 7 that are along uh, highways, highways that have cut through African-American communities uh, and disconnected people from jobs and food and opportunities. Uh, so what we have done uh, to help cut off people from economic opportunity, we have the opportunity to correct uh, with these infrastructure dollars. So we're ready to think big, uh, especially uh, when it comes to reconnecting our communities. So we have also thought through uh, these infrastructure investments and $225 million we know is coming to D.C. over five years to improve our bridges citywide. This is in addition to the local investments we're making, uh, like the Hopscotch Bridge in Ward uh, 6 on 8th Street. Uh, and D.C. residents can also expect to see other improvements in our bridges. Uh, we will be upgrading, as I mentioned, and you might wonder why I'm so excited about these streetlights. Uh, because we have literally been working on transforming streetlights uh, for 15 years in D.C., and finally, we've been able to get it done with a lot of smart thinking uh, and partnership. So 75,000 lights will help illuminate our streets, make them safer for people walking and biking and people playing with their kids. Because the final thing uh, that we're here to do today is to talk about this. When I was a council member in Ward 4, I introduced the Public-Private Partnership Act of 2014. And the purpose of this legislation was to encourage private investment in major public works projects uh, and create pathways for us to do more using some of our local dollars, but using vastly more private dollars. In February of this year, the DC Council approved the first ever 
public-private partnership. A $309 million contract. It's a lot of dollars. With Plenary Infrastructure DC to deliver on the DC Smart Street Light Project, which will convert the district street lights to energy efficient LED technology. So I want to thank my entire team at DDOT, led by Director Everett Lott, Deputy Mayor Falchicchio, Deputy Mayor Babers, and the DC Office of Public Private Partnerships for working tirelessly to complete this procurement. So, with that, uh, while we're celebrating uh, what we've been able to do with this bridge, what we will do uh, in replacing all lead pipes in the District of Columbia, right, DC Water, by 2030. And what we will do uh, by replacing 75,000 streetlights, and also what we will do is work with this administration who finally brought us infrastructure investment for our nation. So with that, Mayor Mitch Landrieu. Thank, thank you, my mayor. Let me just tell y'all something. I'm from New Orleans. It's hot in New Orleans today. <laughs> And when I woke up this morning, I took a minute and had gratitude and said, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning in Washington, D.C. This is cool weather for me. I love it. It's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, and I get to, I get to spend a day with one of the, my favorite mayors in America, Muriel Bowser. I used to be a mayor. I know what a great mayor looks like. That's a great mayor. And you know who else thinks she's a great mayor? The President of the United States thinks she's a great mayor. And that's why I'm here. On behalf of the president, so Mayor, I'm, I'm. In case you can't tell, I'm excited. Right. I met the water die. I love that, <laughs> and I like being with all of you. And I am mindful that I am in Ward Seven, a historic neighborhood, in this great nation's capital, that the president of the United States sees all the time, and is representative of the kinds of communities that he wants to make sure does not get left out, as we work on his vision to bring the country together and to build what the president says is a better America. Now listen here. People been talking about having infrastructure week forever. I'm looking around here and I don't see none of y'all that are older than President Eisenhower. Maybe a couple of you, but I'm not gonna make you raise your hand. We have not done this in this nation in the last 60 years. And when we have done it, we forgot how to do it well because we forgot how to work together. But this president said, if you give me the power of the presidency, I'm going to help you put all of our money together, create partnerships, actually get the money down to the ground and improve people's lives. But I have to do it with partners. And Mayor Bowser has demonstrated in an unbelievable way how quickly she has actually turned the dirt and is changing the lives of everyday citizens as we speak in this moment, at this time, in this place, in the ways that the president spoke about. So we're talking about investments in roads and bridges in airports, in ports, in clean air and clean water, in safe streets, and make sure that everybody has access to high-speed Internet because the president knows that access to knowledge levels the playing field. And he is about to do that right now by making sure that every kid, every senior citizen has access to high-speed Internet for telemedicine, for learning. If you live in a rural area, for making sure that you have precision agriculture, to make sure that you have safe you have lights on so you can have safe streets and economic development. On behalf of the president, we know into this for six months. And in six months, we're building a team on the federal, state, and local level. We're hitting the ground running by getting 4,300 projects coming out of the ground in 50 states and 3,200 communities. I mean, we are making it happen in a real way, and you're seeing evidence of it today. And I've asked, on behalf of the president, all the mayors and the governors to appoint an infrastructure coordinating committee and this mayor hit it out of the park with these folks who we've been knowing for a long time and they know what they're doing and they've been telling me about it all morning on top of that what's important is that we work together on the federal state and local level the private sector the not-for-profit sector the faith-based community and in case you don't understand it all of those things are happening right here today in this neighborhood so the mayor's about to sign a piece of paper that's going to help put the money together with the private sector and the public sector to make this community a safer place. We just walked over a bridge 
that was designed to reconnect communities, communities of color that have been separated over time without much thought that we're going to reconnect. And we came down the street in front of a house where they're actually pulling up the lead pipe and they're actually putting in a decent pipe so grandma and mama and baby don't have to be drinking lead because lead hurts people. we got 400,000 schools around this country. So the mayor is not only getting it done, but she's making it happen in a way where all of these funds are being spent at the same time in the same place that are resulting in safer neighborhoods, better neighborhoods, and you know what else? High-paying jobs. Yeah. So you can go across the street and see all these folks that are in their wonderful vest that are actually doing the work, getting their hands dirty, and making our lives better. This is the best example of getting it done that we have seen in a long time in this country. And President Biden had this in mind when he created this vision for $1.2 trillion. That's a lot of money with a lot of zeros behind it in Washington, D.C., is going to get that piece, right. and you're going to put that piece in the ground. And then you're going to make it go a further way and a longer way because because somebody else's piece. He said she's going to get everybody. She's going to make sure that y'all get your fair share. Don't you worry about it. This mayor, whoo, she's going to ride me like a wet donkey. Keep it going until she has it. But listen, folks, seriously, on behalf of the president, let me just say this. He couldn't be happier with uh, the partnership that he has with Mayor Bowser and with the infrastructure team here. This is what getting it done looks like. And if the country can figure out a way to find herself again yeah. by building bridges, by finding those things we have in common, by reconnecting communities, by investing this money in communities that have been left behind, we will build what the president says is a better America. And a better America sees everybody. A better America uses products that are made in America. A better, a better America understands that climate is a challenge for all of us, and we have to prepare ourselves for a clean energy community. And a better America looks like high-paying jobs for the folks that live in our neighborhoods that actually lift us up because we build an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. That's the vision. And we don't realize that vision anywhere better than right here in Ward 7 in Washington, D.C., with the leadership of this spectacular mayor. So on behalf of the president, Mayor, I'm thrilled to be here, and thank you. Let's give Mitch a big round of applause. And also, Mayor, I wanted to acknowledge one of my agency directors, Dr. Unique Morris-Hughes, who leads our Employment Services Division. And her office is just over this bridge. Uh, but I wanted to bring it up because she also runs a program called the DC Infrastructure Academy, which we started around the same time we funded this bridge. Uh, and in five years, they've trained DC residents, 1,900 of them. I like what you say, high paying jobs and infrastructure. And that's also going to create the pipeline that we need to deploy these dollars. So that's fantastic. Now I want to turn to our leaders of our infrastructure task force, um, Secretary, former Transportation Secretary Rodney Slater and Jan Adams. Secretary Slater. Jan. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Bowser, and thank you, Mayor Landro. Um, I'm so excited to be here today and be a part of this task force. Um, and it doesn't get any better than working um, with Secretary Slater as a teammate. I was just telling uh, Secretary or, or Mayor Bowser that to actually witness and actually walk across that bridge. How many of us would ever walk across that bridge in your lifetime here in Washington, D.C.? But to actually walk across it, see what's being done, look at the hole in the ground where they're, they're, they're changing out those lead pipes. I mean, it doesn't get any better, and you don't get a better feel for what you're tasked to do than to actually be there, witness it, and see it. So I'm so excited to be here. Um, we're going to also try to streamline the acquisition process for those business owners out there. <laughs> you know, create more uh, better paying jobs, as they said. And the mayor has assembled a dynamic task force who are stakeholders uh, in, this, in this fight. They, they have the need, they have the want, they have the desire to make this work. And that's what we're here for. So uh, Secretary Slater has a, a proven history of uh, getting things done when he was Secretary of Transportation. As I said, I'm excited to work alongside him. Thank you, Mayor Bowser, Thank for you. choosing me to be on this task Thank force. You, I'm glad Thank to be you. here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Madam Mayor. Thank you for affording me the opportunity to work with Jan Adams. Okay. <laughs> she is a jewel. 
And she has that, um, that beautiful, clandescent smile. Uh, it literally brings light and joy. And we're excited to work as a part of your team to do exactly what the president has asked us to do, and that's to help the district play its role in this major infrastructure initiative that's not just Infrastructure Week, but as he has said, it's Infrastructure Decade. And to Mayor Landrieu, number one, you're doing a great job with this program, but you've been just an excellent mayor and an excellent public official over the years. Uh, you come by it honestly. I'm reminded of not only your father, but your sister and mother, the entire family. And so we thank you for being with us as well. And let me just say this about transportation. It is about more than concrete asphalt and steel. It is about people. It's about a good job that allows you to provide for your family. It's about creating things that bring a better quality of life to our communities. Uh, it is about connecting communities. It is sometimes the bridge over troubled waters. It is sometimes the words of frost, two roads diverge in a yellow wood. It is the tie that binds. It is the thing that makes us a more perfect union. And finally, we have a president who believes to his core that an investment in infrastructure is an investment in the most important asset of our communities, our people. And so, Madam Mayor, again, we are honored to be a part of this task force. We're honored to stand with you today. We're honored to be a part of this effort to move America forward, to ensure that our best days are yet ahead of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so our final speaker will be our Deputy Mayor for Operations uh, and Infrastructure, Lucinda Babers. Thank you, Mayor. Hello, D.C. And hello, Ward 7. So I am Lucinda Babers, Deputy Mayor for Operations and Infrastructure. And guess what? I'm last. They have all taken my talking points, the mayor especially. <laughs> so I'm going to cobble together a little something to share with you all um, before we do the, the signing of the revenue bonds. But we're here at this particular spot right now because guess what? The mayor shared with you that we do have a 15-year contract to install 75,000 LED streetlights. The contract also includes us upgrading some of the overhead signs as you drive by you know that those have lights so that when you're driving at night you can you can see when to get off go home go to grandma's house wherever you're going and so um, that's what it's going to be focused on but something that you may not know is that it also is going to have the ability to put nodes on the top so that we can um, connect Wi-Fi because on Monday, Mayor Bowser and our Chief Technology Officer, Lindsey Parker, who's standing behind us, way behind us, um, they kicked off and they shared that um, we're going to be rolling out affordable internet in Ward 7 and 8 so that everybody is connected. And so this, this contract will help us do that. Now, it's a total of $309 million. Come a little closer. Yeah, we don't, we don't have $309 million laying around. So we had to work with Demped, our Deputy Mayor for Economic um, and Planning, and with DDOT, our District Department of Transportation. And that's why it took 15 years, Mayor. No, okay. <laughs> we, we could have done it quicker. But, um, but we had to work to um, gather the necessary, um, put things in place so that we could actually do some revenue bonds for $160 million. So that's a lot of money. And um, so we're here today for the mayor to sign off on those revenue bonds so that we can actually get started because you know DC is open. Hey, DC is open. <laughs> so I, I just wanna thank the mayor um, for, for her P3. It's the first 
P3 of the nation that is specifically for street lights. And um, and we're going to be doing a lot more P3 projects, I believe. So thank you, everyone. That is great news. The first P3 -P 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 for street lights. And I'm, I'm, we're very proud of that. And everybody here should be proud of it. Uh, but it does highlight why it took so long, Lucinda, was because of contracting irregularities and disruptions and political disruptions to the contracting process. That's why I want to make sure, um, and I've, I have this conversation with everybody in the White House, that we send the signal. When the mayors can work with urgency, emergency, and get procurements done, we deliver projects. And that's what we need uh, for all of these infrastructure dollars too. Okay, so with that, I'll take a few on topics. If they're off topics, I will do it after the signing. Yes. Good afternoon, mayors. Yes. Uh, I have a question for both of you, actually, yes. a federal and a local. Uh, my name is Tom Fitzgerald from Fox 5 News. Uh, Mayor Landrieu, there's about $15 billion in the federal infrastructure bill to do lead pipe replacements, but we've seen in communities like Flint, Michigan, the damage this kind of thing can do. Illinois is listed as the state with the most lead pipes. Is $15 billion enough to not only mitigate but eliminate this problem? Well, first of all, thank you for that. Obviously, lead pipes are a really serious problem all over the country. We have it here in D.C. We saw it right down the street. You have it in Flint, Michigan. You have it in the city of New Orleans. You have it all over the place. $15 billion is a fantastic start, but it's not the only pot of money. That's there. So there's money in the BIL bill. There's also money in the American Rescue Plan bill. There's also money in the in the uh, the pipelines of funding that are coming down to the states um, through, for example, the Clean Water Act uh, dollars as well. And we believe that when we accumulate all of those dollars, it'll be enough to solve the problem. And Mayor Bowser, a question here locally. Obviously, Flint was a wake up call to a lot of people, but here in D.C., about 15 years ago, we had our own lead pipes uh, scare. Where are we at right now in assessing our own situation with this, and what assurances can you give the public that uh, that effort is ongoing and aggressive? Sure. So I mentioned at the top of my remarks that we set a goal to eliminate lead pipes for drinking water by 2030. Uh, the EPA administrator was here to further commit uh, the administration's uh, commitment of $225 million to that project. Uh, and D.C. Water also has a plan. So I want to just ask D.C. Water uh, to talk about what the next five years uh, by 2030 looks like. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Jason Hughes, uh, Vice President of Water Operations at D.C. Water. Uh, as the mayor indicated, we have a program called Lead Free D.C. Uh, with the charge of having all lead pipes removed from the city uh, by 2030. Uh, if you can go online at dcwater.com forward slash lead, there's a host of information that will speak to the program that's underway uh, that began to, uh, to, to, start, to start in earnest uh, back in 2019. Okay. Dollars. Yep. Great. Uh, I would also add too that uh, as the mayor uh, had said, the mayor Bowser has also put forward an additional $20 million of American Rescue Plan funds to DC Water to help remove lead pipes even faster. Thank you. Okay, any, anything else? Sam? Yes, um, uh, Sam Ford with Channel 7. Uh, mayor, I, I'm getting a little confused on the timeline, but uh, this a truck took out one of these bridges. Yes. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, did this one come first? And are you replacing the bridge that the truck took out? I'm just curious. Yes, and I'm going to ask DDOT to come up. So what we did, Sam, when that bridge, you, there was a series of bridges that crossed 295. I think that there are five. Um, one was last June, almost a year ago. Uh, a truck hit one, it went down, and it was totally uh, removed. When that happened, we actually sped up the construction of this one, uh, which is a better connection because it connects the community uh, directly uh, to the metro station. What our, our infrastructure task force will be thinking about um, is how to de deploy. There is a, um, a portion of these infrastructure dollars 
that are focused on how do we connect communities that have been divided by highways. Um, and so I don't want to just limit our thinking to what we have currently in these pedestrian bridges, but the task force is collecting ideas about how we can better connect both sides of 295. So Mayfair and Parkside are better connected to Deanwood, to grocery, to shopping, to transportation and jobs. Did you want to? Okay. Very good. Yep. Sorry, I didn't say earlier. My name is Jenny Reed, and I am the Mayor's Budget Director and also the Staff Director of the Build Back Better Infrastructure Task Force. As the Mayor mentioned, uh, we are seeking active public engagement uh, on ideas for improving infrastructure across the city. I encourage you all to check out infrastructure.dc.gov, where you can currently submit ideas online, and then check back there for our schedule, where all of our committees will be out in the community engaging the public and getting your ideas. Thank you. Yep. All right. Let's let's sign the agreement. Thank you. So we're building a lot of housing right. over here and, and getting this done fast to connect housing to transportation was huge. So, Mayor, you know this as well as any other man in the country. I mean, the president's vision was not only to rebuild, but to reconnect. And so, you know, you've had lots of examples. D.C. is a great example of it. My city, New Orleans, is an example of cities where transportation corridors cut historically African-American neighborhoods in half and we're trying to reconnect them and bridges are the easiest and the best way to do that Absolutely. on top of on top of highway safety so I want to thank you for leading that effort I mean this Absolutely. is a great example of it and I can't wait to see it. it.